So let's examine the following example that deals with a particle moving above a finite potential well. So let's begin. Suppose an electron with a total energy of 10 electron volts is traveling on the left of a finite potential well that has a depth of 4 electron volts. Now, if the width of our potential well is 20 nanometers, we want to find the wavelength of the wave produced by the electron when that electron is found near our potential well and when that electron is found directly above our potential well. So to see exactly what's taking place, let's look at the following diagram. So basically, this section is our potential well. And the height of the potential well, the distance from the x-axis to the top portion of our potential well, is given by u naught, which is equal to 4 electron volts. Now, the width of our potential well, the distance from x equals 0 to x equals L, where L is the width, is given by 20 nanometers. Now, this we're not actually going to need to use in this lecture. So, basically, our electron begins at the following position and it's traveling with some kinetic energy across the following axis, across the following energy level. Now, when the electron is found either to the left or to the right of our potential well, that electron's energy is given by 10 electron volts. That is given by taking the sum of the kinetic energy K as well as the potential energy U naught of our particle. So if we take the sum of these two quantities, that will give us our energy of our electron, the total energy of that electron. So basically, we need to use the following two equations. So equation 1, the equation on the left, basically gives us the wavelength of our wave produced by the electron when the electron is found to the left of our potential well. And this second equation gives us the wavelength of our wave produced by the electron when it's found directly above the following potential uh, potential well. So notice as the electron travels across it produces a wave function that describes our wave that is given by the following blue curve. And notice that as our wave travels across the following potential well above the potential well the frequency of oscillation increases and that means the wavelength decreases. The distance between any two consecutive crests decreases and that can be explained by the following two equations. So, we basically want to use this equation to calculate what the distance is between the following two consecutive crests of the wave produced above our potential well. So, lambda is equal to H Planck's constant divided by the square root of 2 multiplied by the mass in kilograms of the electron multiplied by the energy which should be given in joules. So that means since we want to use E and E is equal to 10 electron volts, that means we multiply 10 electron volts by 1.6 times 10 to negative 19 joules per electron volt. The electron volt will cancel and we are left with a wavelength of about 3.88 times 10 to negative 10 meters which is equivalent to 0.388 nanometers. So this is the wavelength of the electron when that electron is directly above our potential well. Now let's move on to the second part. Now we want to apply this equation to calculate what the wavelength is of our particle when that particle is to the left of our potential well. So h divided by the square root of 2 multiplied by m multiplied by E minus U naught. So E minus U naught is simply the kinetic energy of our particle. So E minus U naught is 10 minus 4 and that gives us 6. 6 multiplied by this gives us our energy in joules. Multiply that by our mass. Multiply by 2. Take the square root. And then we take our Planck's constant and divide that by the square root of this quantity. And that gives us a wavelength of about 
1 times 10 to negative 10 meters or equivalently about 0.501 nanometers. So this represents the wavelength of the electron when it's found to the left of our potential well. So basically, once again, as our electron travels in the left region of the following diagram, its wavelength is greater than when that electron is traveling directly above our potential well. And that's seen by comparing this quantity to this quantity.